Hello everybody, another video here from Chris, aka Shady C. And don't worry fans, I will be back on the radio fairly soon. Once my, my producer comes back from his vacation, I plan on resuming my radio show. But uh, anyways, the topic of this is a YouTuber by the name of Mr. Edge TV, who I'm actually a huge fan of. Um, I wanted to do this video because I'd seen, I guess it was like a year ago, I'm always late to shit. What do you want? Anyways, a year ago, somebody had made a shoot on Mr. Edge TV. I don't remember the guy's name. I watched it a little bit ago, but it was very forgettable. The guy was very boring. He spoke like this. Like he was a robot coming to make us fall asleep. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I saw this shoot. And I couldn't sit through it all. It was very, very boring. But I got upset because I've been watching Mr. Edge TV, I want to say, I want to say for, I, I started watching when he posted the very first shoot on Sean. That got me hooked for a couple reasons. A, I can't stand fucking Sean's view entertainment. That's right, Sean, I say fuck in my videos. But anyways, um, no, I, I don't like Sean's view at all. So I'd seen this and I'm like, oh, cool, someone made a rant on him. I gotta see this. And then I watched the rant and I noticed he looks like one of my favorite singers, so just like, oh, okay, cool. He looks like, um, and Mr. Edge TV, if you see this, Google this. There's a singer, uh, formerly from the group Celtic Thunder. His name is Damien McGinty. Um, you look just like him. Uh, seriously, anyone who's watching this, go to YouTube. Well, you're on YouTube already, you're watching this, but go look at Mr. Edge TV and then go look at Damien McGinty. They look so much alike, it's crazy. But I wanted to stop for a minute and talk about certain videos I like more than others. Because I like all of Mr. Edge TV's videos, but there's certain ones that if I see on his channel, I'm definitely going to look. I'm going to watch. One is I like, I like his unboxings. And they're not always generally unboxings, but when he shows something new that he bought, I like that. Because a lot of times, I don't want to sit there and fucking go out and buy something I'm not going to like. So it's cool to hear someone else's opinion on it. Not only that, but you get to see the box, you get to see the disc, you get to see if there's a fucking, one of those fucking little pamphlets in there that you can open up and read and see the content and all that shit. Lately, they have, WWE hasn't been doing that, putting in the little pamphlets. And I fucking like the little pamphlets, so they need to start adding that shit back. But I like those ones. I like the rants. He hasn't done a rant in a while. And there's been times where in my head I'm begging for a rant. Especially the stupidity of some of his latest videos i'll put it this way i don't know why i still watch sean's view i think because uh i'm a glutton for punishment that's pretty much what it is or else if i'm absolutely bored and there's nothing to do and none of the youtubers I actually like have uploaded anything sean's got no life he's gonna be uploading 10 videos a day at least hey i don't have that much of a life but i have more of a life than him i can't do that i i'm too busy to do that but anyways um yeah, I mean, Sean's a piece of shit. I will say one thing in defense of Sean that I did not agree with Mr. Edge TV on. I'm a big guy, but I was a, I used to be skinnier. I, at my lowest, I was about 150. That was when I was 21. Since then, obviously, I've put on quite a bit of weight. But I've always liked big girls. Hell, I've got a picture of me and my ex-girlfriend when I was 150 and she was 350. I like big girls. Is Sean's girlfriend big? Yeah, she's chunky. She has some meat on her. But I think she's fucking hot. That's my only disagreement with Mr. Edge TV is I think Sean's girlfriend's fucking sexy the motherfucker. Dude. <laughs> and if she's attracted to him, if he gets her, I'm not calling myself the hottest guy on earth. I'm not even close to that. I'm probably not even near average, but I know I can fucking get her. If, if she likes him, I could get her. Hell, if she likes him, anyone could get her. I'm dead ass serious. I'm going to go old school for old school fans because I'm a huge wrestling fan. always have been. The Brooklyn Brawler, Barry Horowitz. Hell, go back even a little further. The Killer Bees. Gene Snitsky could get her and he fucking caused Lita to lose her baby. Yes, I know. It was a storyline. I don't want to comment. But that wasn't real. I'm making a joke. Point is, she's. I think she's fucking sexy though. But I don't know why she would fuck with him. He's a fucking idiot. He does, In reality, and... um. And, and, and Mr. Edge TV is right. He really does steal a lot of other people's shit. 
He does the black and white thing. Other people have done it, and the in the IW. It's not even about other people doing it in general. It's about the IWC. Take your own fucking ideas. Don't sit there and go, oh, this looks cool. I'm gonna do that. I ranted on Shanzi before. It was cool, man. I if you go back and look at my videos, I think like from I don't know, like two years ago or something, some shit like that. I made a rant on his ass. Nobody likes him. Nobody. And if you like him, you're a little kid. And I will say one other thing in defense of Sean's view. I'm the only YouTuber that doesn't like him that didn't give a fuck about him pulling his dick out. I don't give a damn. I'm a grown-ass man. I have a cock. I don't care if you pull your cock out. It doesn't bother me. I'm straight. I don't, I don't get offended by that sort of shit. The reason I don't get offended is because I believe in the other side of the coin. For example, if we had guys pulling their cocks out on YouTube every fucking day, eventually we'd get a pussy. And that's the good part. I don't want to be one of those guys who says, oh, I don't want to see a dick. I don't want to see a dick. Ooh, a pussy. So you know what? Go ahead. Pull your cocks out. Whatever. I'm waiting for the good stuff. It's like with lesbian. I'm sorry to deviate so much, but yeah. It's like with, with, with the gay community. Straight guys, we'll sit there and we'll watch chicks make out and love it. And then other straight guys would be like, oh my god, there's two guys, that's gross. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be fair about it. Um, I'm going to say, I, first off, let me say I do believe in gay rights. I believe that everyone has the right to marry who they love. But um, it doesn't bother me if two guys kiss. I've had guys say, are you gay? That doesn't bother you. No, it doesn't bother me because it makes it easier to you to get two chicks to kiss. Think about it. If you, if you know two lesbians and they're friends with gay people and they know you're the motherfucker sitting there going, ew, every time two men kiss, they're not going to like you. People stick up for their community and I respect that a lot. So if you want to see two fucking chicks kiss, you got to fucking be okay with everything. Sorry for, for going so far off the subject. Back to Mr. Chibi. Dude, I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Um... But yeah, I actually commented and you responded. I want to know what you think. What I want to know, even though you said you have the network, I want to know what you think of, of the new developments. I want to know what you think of some of the new stuff that's up there. Um, I wanted to know what you thought about, um, I guess there's a cable company in, Engl in Canada called Rogers. And I guess they're getting the WWE network, but it's not going to have the full on-demand content. It's going to have the stream and some on-demand content. So, I mean, you know, I know you're in Australia, but I know you probably pay attention to the worldwide shit, too. So, I want to know what you thought about that. Do you think they're getting gypped? Because they have to pay more than we have than, than $9.99. I think they have to pay, like, $13.99 when it comes available. Um, I want to know, also, what you think of the numbers, you know. And, and this goes for everyone. I love hearing people's opinions on the network. Because, to me, is the network doing good right now? No. Will it do better I hope so. I hope it does. I hope it becomes a success. Hope they start adding more new fucking content. If you want to know more about that, you can check out my previous video. I did a big rant on the WWE Network adding new content. But, um, yeah. I mean, I love hearing this shit. I'll sit there and watch fucking people review it like crazy. And that's another beef with Sean. I want to know what everyone else thinks about this, too. That fucker had, a two cent had his two cents in on every single subject in the world. When the network came out... He was silent. And even leading up to the network, he'd say, oh, the network's coming. They're going to have this, this, and this. This is going to happen. This is going to happen. And then the network comes out, and he doesn't do a review of it. I did a review of it. He doesn't mention what his thoughts on it. He basically was silent. And this fucker makes 10 videos a day. I mean, usually he just repeats the same shit over and over again. Like, he does videos a lot on Punk, on The Shield. Very boring. Like I said, I have to be particularly bored to to watch a Sean's View video. Basically, watching Sean's View video is one step above sticking nails in my foot. Like, if I wasn't doing that, I'd be sticking nails in my foot. He's just below, uh, just above that. Just a cut above that. You know, I mean, it's still torturous, but something to do when you're fucking bored. And you've watched everything on the fucking network and they don't add new shit. But yeah, they need, they need to add new shit. Um, I will say, though, today they did finally added the 90s of Saturday Night's Main Event. Like I said, I'm a longtime fan. I've been a fan since 89. The first pay-per-view I'd ever watched. And I liked, I normally used to say, the first pay-per-view I've ever watched, and I have to add live, because a lot of people have watched all the old shit. The first one I ever sat down and watched live 
was WrestleMania 5. So everything from, I want to say, 89 until about uh, the beginning of 93, the end of 92. Somewhere around there. That's where that's like a soft spot in my heart. That one I like, and I like I love the Attitude Era. And I actually like the uh, Ruthless Aggression Era. Because remember, that's the era that brought us hot lesbian action. People don't, people tend to lump Ruthless Aggression Era and Attitude Era in together. But no, Attitude Era didn't bring us hot lesbian action. Attitude Era brought us a lot of cool shit. Yeah, I love that Attitude Era. I'd love to have it back to TV 14. But Ruthless Aggression Era is the one that brought us hot lesbian action. It brought us that uh, that funny storyline where Billy and Chuck got married, or were going to get married. Then Eric Bischoff um, pulls off the, the latex, whatever it was, whatever kind of material it was. Uh, uh, he was dressed as the preacher. That was funny shit. So yeah, I, I basically, I like everything up until the PG bullshit. I still watch it. People say, well, if you don't like it, why do you still watch it? And I say, look, I put it this way. I've been a fan so long. It's like a, a member of the family. When you remember a family becomes a fuck up, you don't just completely cut them out of your life. You want them to get better. You encourage them to get better. And that's what I do. I encourage them to be to get better, to put on a better product. You know, get racy again. That shit was cool. Cena was actually bearable. I still didn't like him. I want not one of those fans who goes, I want Thug Cena back. He was just an idiot as much of then as he was now. He was just a little more bearable. And I, I do say I love that fucking episode. Was it in Iraq? It was somewhere where he fucking smacked Stephanie's ass. Dude, she has a nice ass. So she really fucking does. And her ass was nicer then. I like chubby Stephanie. Like fucking when she had some meat on her more so than, you know, it's like, it's like, and before she made her return too, I wanted to say this too. Before she made her return, she, they were showing pictures of her on Twitter working out. I'm like, is Triple H trying to turn her into China 2.0 or something? I like a woman with a womanly body. You know, women are supposed to have a little extra meat on them. You know, nobody wants to floss with it or pick their teeth with a toothpick, if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, I'm getting off of here. Uh, you can uh, comment. You can rate. Um, if there's something you want me to see me do a video on or rant on anything, let me know. Um, anyways, so, as always, peace.